In this video, I create three big monster movie posters themed around the planets, and I even get high-end prints made. Oh my god! It's October already? Oh hey! By the way, if you want to know why I showed up the way I did, uh, I suppose you should probably check out my other video I did right over here. I think it's over here. But anyway, it looks like it's my favorite time of the year. I love the fall. The colorful northeastern trees changing color and falling to the ground. Halloween and horror movies. And especially the barren ice tundra of the northeast two weeks after those leaves fall. So today I have something special prepared for you. I have three monster movie posters that I've created in spirit of Halloween and the holidays and the entire month. I spent a long time on each of these posters. So you better hit the like button. Anyway, let's get to the art. Full honesty, when I created the first poster, I didn't think I would be doing a full series of this. For most of my life, I never repeat any drawings or do anything that's like a series. I've always tried coming up with something new, just a kind of standalone type idea. It wasn't until recent art classes that I was taking that it occurred to me that I should do a series. A series is what you would see in an art show or a gallery. These pieces are generally connected in some thematic way. Well, I decided it was time for me to make a series. I thought this over for a while, and I came back eventually to the monster movie poster I had already done. I was rather happy with the Venus Beast that you see coming together now. This project happens to combine a few different elements that I love. I enjoy creating creatures, monsters, I'm always fascinated with space. And I don't know why, but for me, I've always enjoyed doing letter art. I went with Venus for the first drawing and naturally thought of a carnivorous plant that you all know. Naturally, there's no plants actually on Venus. I don't know where that name comes from. I tried looking it up and I, I gave up. Anyway, I am creating all of this on Procreate on the iPad, if you were wondering. And maybe if it's not obvious, I envision this creature to be more of a feminine presenting type monster. I am working on ideas for my monster creations so that with these I may also in the future be creating a comic for each of them, telling their story. So I am currently cooking up some backstory for these things.
I do figure that each of these planetary monsters hail from the respective planet. With the Venus Beast, I imagine it being a more isolated story. Each of these being like a horror story, and this one being more grounded in involving fewer people, maybe like in a small rural town or something like that. With the second poster, we move on to another planet. I'm sort of arbitrarily picking which one I do. I'm not going in any particular order. For this one, I felt inspired by the Roman god that it was named after. Neptune is the god of the sea. I know I'm not drawing a humanoid god, as it is typically depicted in the Roman mythology. There's no trident here, no statue of a guy. I get a kick out of the idea that the gods are real, but nothing like the human idea of them. Perhaps there truly is a god, or gods, out there. However, humanity had no idea what it was actually worshipping. Turns out, Neptune is really cold, by the way. So a gigantic aquatic monstrosity shows up to create various form of tidal waves and flooding. My idea behind the story of this one, if it were a movie or plot or maybe a comic in the future, is that it's a large world event, opposed to the previous one where I envisioned the Venus Beast being something more localized. This one would be like an apocalyptic scenario. There is the god as you see depicted as a giant octopus, but also I envision that there would be many more sea-themed creatures that attack the population coming out of the oceans and merging with the land as the water floods it all, killing everyone. Moving on to the final poster. I think I really outdid myself with this one, to be honest. I love the previous ones for sure, but this one is awesome. That's the thing with doing a series as I've been learning. You learn from your past projects. While I still love what I did with the first one and the second one, you grow and develop as you keep doing these. So as the name implies, this guy comes from Mercury. One of the aspects I think about when making these is, what is the title? I feel like The Man from Mercury is very much of the era of the old Universal monster movies that I'm kind of basing this on. I think something like The Wolfman. Fairly simple and self-explanatory. This one makes me think of a man that was experimented on. It's not so much that it is a monster native to Mercury, But maybe there was some sort of crazy experiment that was run on Mercury and they had a facility and this man was a victim of all of that. 
That's the compelling thing about Frankenstein's monster, for example. The monster is actually the victim of the story. If you didn't already notice, with the other ones, there is a respective planet that I draw on the poster. I did look up images of the planets to try my best to depict it as it actually looks. To my surprise, NASA.gov has an actually really good website. Maybe the only good government website I've ever seen. They have a running 3D model of all the planets, the system, the moons, and it runs in real time for where they actually are at the time that you're looking at it. You can click on them, get a bunch of information. So if you're ever curious about information on the planets, NASA actually has a really good website for that. I also discovered that it's pretty fun drawing planets in space stuff. So it's kind of a combination of a bunch of different things that I actually really enjoy within drawing and making art. Anyway, Mercury actually has some cold areas because it doesn't have an atmosphere. And Venus, which is closer, well, uh, farther from the sun, uh, actually has an atmosphere and gets a lot hotter. Uh, so even though people think of Mercury as being an extremely hot planet, it's not even the hottest one. And there are areas where it's cold enough to have ice. Now let's check them all out. Let's take a final look at these, get them printed, and mount them on my walls. And we are done. This was a lot of work for one video. It took me about 20 hours for each of these posters to create them. Those 20 hours is based on the program tracking when the screen is on in the canvas. So really it took a lot more than that. So you got 20, 40, 60 hours, but in real time it took far more than that because of times of getting up or being distracted by something and then I try to make sure I turn the screen off so it accurately tracks the time so at a bare minimum if I were laser focused these took 60 hours to create but I am absolutely thrilled with how this all came out I am so happy to have these in my home I think they're awesome this is also the first time that I've ever had prints high quality prints, large poster size stuff of my digital creations. And I think it's really working out great. We went to a high quality print shop to get these made. Wasn't the cheapest thing in the world, but I'm very happy to have them as it decorates my home, my art room, and really inspires me to make more stuff. So even with them blown up to the full poster size, I made these in a high resolution canvas. So the quality still stands up when you get really close, even at this scale. Even at this distance, it's still looking amazing. I am gonna make more of these. I actually have nine planned out, and I've already completed a fourth one. So if you enjoyed what you saw here, and you wanna see more in the future of what I create on this channel, hit the subscribe button. If you enjoyed this, hit the like button, make sure you leave a comment, 
letting me know what you think. Do you have a personal favorite of the three that I created? And most importantly, I hope I inspired you for something that you create in your own art.